And the next step is media. Where do our buyers consume their information? Another way of putting it, where do these individuals hang out when they're online? So there is a plethora of online media channels that people hang out on. You have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and some people just you know, hang out in their email box, inbox. Uh, people watch videos on YouTube, uh, read blogs, news sites. Some spend time TikToking or at least watching TikTok. And some people use Google search and some just surf the web. So now when you consider all these places where people consume their information and hang out online, how do we determine which ones are the best? You know, which ones should we invest our time and money in? And the answer to that question is, it depends on our buyer personas. Now, if we look back at the small business owner, they act like consumers. You know, we mentioned that uh, their, their business and personal life are somewhat intertwined. So when we consider that small business owners behave like consumers, and there are often no clear division between work and personal life, we can observe that you know, they follow their friends, families, and sometimes customers on various social media channels. They use search engines to research topics. They read online reviews about businesses and products they're interested in. And when educating themselves, they read blog articles and watch videos on topics that interest them. So understanding these behaviors can help in determining the appropriate media channels to reach small business owners effectively. Now on the flip side, we discussed how a line of business managers tend to keep things professional. They strive to maintain that clear division between their work life and professional life. So when it comes to where they hang out online, it really comes down to where do they consume their information during business hours. For a line of business managers, they use search engines to research topics. They read online reviews and biz about businesses and products they're interested in. Uh, when it comes to social networks, when it's just business related, they typically don't wanna be bothered on Facebook or, or Instagram, but they feel okay being bothered on LinkedIn because um, that's where uh, a lot of networking goes on. And they consume business related content found online. So understanding these preferences can guide your decision making when it comes to investing time and resources in specific online channels for targeting line of business managers effectively. So now that we understand the media channels where these individuals hang out and where they consume their information, we finally reached that last step of the marketing strategy. With the method step, our job is to find the best way to grab our target's prospect's attention. And we know that our small business owners are hanging out in social media communities. They like to use search engines, read reviews, enjoy staying informed of the latest information through blogs and videos. Now let's take a look at the marketing tactics that generate home builder insurance leads. Now the first one is website optimization. Ensure that our website has a clean, updated look that's optimized for user experience, easy navigation, and easy access to the information they're looking for. Also, lead generation optimization. We need to optimize our website to effectively convert visitors into leads. We need to implement lead capture forms with compelling calls to action and persuasive content to encourage visitors to take action and submit their information. SEO program. Implement a consistent SEO program to optimize our website for search engines. This includes targeting relevant keywords and optimizing on-page elements to improve the search visibility and drive organic traffic to our website. Google search ads. Run Google search ads targeting our top keywords to increase that visibility in search engine results and drive traffic to our website. Facebook ads. Utilize targeted Facebook ads that specifically target small business owners in the home building industry. We can, we can craft a compelling ad copy and visuals to engage our target audience and direct them to our website or a landing page. 
Google business profile optimization. Ensure our Google business profile is fully optimized with accurate information and a consistent flow of positive client reviews. This helps build trust and credibility among potential clients who are searching for insurance providers. And finally, reputation management. By consistently engaging with your reviewers and maintaining a positive online reputation, you can build credibility and attract potential clients for your small business. So by implementing these tactics, you know, we aim to enhance our online presence, increase our visibility, attract targeted leads, and ultimately generate new insurance policies from small business home builders. Now, for our line of business buyer, our, our good friend, Sarah, we know that she uses search engines, reads reviews, mainly sticks with LinkedIn, and consumes business-related information online. And based on those traits, we could focus on the following tactics to effectively reach and engage with Sarah. Website optimization. Ensure our website is optimized to provide relevant, informative content that aligns with Sarah's business-related interests and needs. Google business profile optimization. Optimize our Google business profile to showcase our expertise, showcase our services, and collect those positive client reviews to build credibility. LinkedIn profile optimization. Optimize both our personal LinkedIn profile and our business's LinkedIn profile. Showcase our industry uh, expertise, share valuable insights, and connect with relevant professionals in Sarah's network. Email marketing campaign. Utilize email marketing to stay on top of Sarah's inbox. Share valuable content, industry insights, exclusive offers to nurture the relationship and keep our brand top of mind. LinkedIn ads, allocate budget for targeted LinkedIn ads based on industry, uh, geography, company size, job titles that align with Sarah's profile. This allows us to directly reach and engage her in a professional context. So by implementing these tactics, we can effectively connect with Sarah's, um, connect, connect with, the, the Sarah's that we're trying to target and provide valuable in business related information and position our insurance services as a relevant solution to her needs.